I am Matilda Nakaima, a musician. My stage name is Maturity, and I'm also a youth empowerment advocate. I am a Ugandan. My work extends beyond the musical realm, touching on significant social issues such as HIV awareness, substance use, youth development, and activism. I leverage my platforms to inspire and educate young people, equipping them with the knowledge and skills needed for motivation awareness. Of specific interest to me is the issue of substance use among young people, especially those with disabilities. A study was done on drug and substance abuse in schools of Kampala and Wakiso. Found that between 60 to 71 percent of students used illicit drugs with alcohol and cannabis taking the biggest percentages. Of particular interest is the issue of substance use among young people with disabilities. Disabled people in Uganda, as in the most developing countries in the world, face extreme conditions of poverty, health, education, employment opportunities. People with physical disabilities experience substance use disorders at two to four times the rate of the general population. Substance use among youths with disabilities in Wakiso district. Wakiso is one of the biggest and most affluent districts in Uganda. Being a metropolitan district, it is prone to the hazards of any city. For example, increased crime rate, drug abuse, healthcare burden. The young people, especially the people with disabilities, face their own unique challenges as city dwellers. This study therefore seeks to present the unique issues faced by youth with disabilities in Wakiso district as they endeavor to access healthcare. The methods in this study specifically focused on individual interviews, focus group discussion, questionnaires to collect qualitative and quantitative data among the villages of Kayunga, Gombe, and Nalufuri. These are emerging townships with a mixture of urban and peri-urban communities. The sample size of 25 participants were 70% male and 30% female. Among these were those with visual, physical, hearing impairments. Youth with disabilities in my community face a challenge of accessing public utilities. For example, toilets, classroom, malls, hospitals, to mention but a few. Simply because these places do not have provisions like wheelchair ramps, braille for reading, to mention but a few. In conclusion, we need to make sure that the braille ramps are put in place and are made available. Finally, there is need to improve on the policies that address the issues of the youth with disabilities and within the healthcare systems. Thank you.